Good day, people of God. This is your friend, Babatunde Ebenezer Daramala. Uh, this time around, I will be sharing with us a thought about understanding the season of your blessing. You know, at times, God do come, just like it happens in the sea of Bethesda. God will come, send his angel to steer up the water. And uh, so, also God does that he release blessings in the spirit for his people. You know, the book of Ephesians chapter 1 said, Blessed be the Lord our God who has blessed us with uh, all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Yes, we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So also God just God releases blessing in seasons in the spirit realm. And uh, most of the time children of God fail to harvest all these things, fail to claim all these things in the spirit realm. And uh, so when God release all those things in the spirit realm, God will also do us a favor as his dear sons and daughter to release upon us the spirit of prayer and supplication so that we can claim all these things. So when and uh, when we are now talking about understanding the season of this blessing, that means you can trace if a season of blessing is coming by the inspiration of the spirit at that particular time you know in the book of zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 god was saying there said and i will pour upon the house of david and upon the inhabitant of jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication the spirit of grace and of supplication you know god do pour out his blessing and for us to claim it you know it's not within our power to claim these things but he inspired us he released upon us the spirit of prayer and supplication and many people are not sensitive to take advantage of this season we are not sensitive so whenever the spirit there is a release of a body to pray Though it is attached to many things, it might be a body to pray to secure our life. You know, security, divine security is also a blessing from God. So, a lot of things may happen. So, whenever there is a, a movement in our spirit for prayer and supplication or to visit our spirit, um, uh, our, our secret place, this is, is, is telling us that it's, it's, it's just a signal. It's just a signal that something special is happening in the spirit. So we need to we need to harvest this. We need to we need to take advantage of all this season and the release of the grace of God. You know, Paul Apostle says something. Said, "I do not take the grace of God in vain. I do not take the grace of God in vain." So there are seasons in your life that God will release His blessing. God will set to some things in the spirit realm, but it is now your responsibility as a child of God to stand in the place of prayer to claim all those things. And God, knowing the weakness of man, is going to release grace, send the spirit of prayer upon men. But many trivialize all those things. They don't take advantage of it. So from now, when we begin to see a movement in our spirit to pray, to seek God, to worship, it is, it is we should respond to all these things. We should not just look onto it. We should not just see it and just close our eyes. In this time, in this kind of season, procrastination is not a, a good thing. Because those blessings might just wipe away. Those blessings might just wipe away. So there are seasons that the Lord send his blessing. And he also release the promptness for supplication, for prayer, for worship, for every of his sons and daughter to claim those things. Don't let us miss it. Let us take advantage of it. It is the grace of God. Don't let us take it in vain. And the Lord in his power bless us 
the Lord be with us in the name of Jesus. His mercy be sufficient for us. His grace be sufficient for us. We live above every limitations of flesh. We enter the grace of God, the sufficient grace of God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. See you another time. Thank you for listening to this edition of our message. In case you would like to join the big family of God, this is another opportunity for you to confess Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior for the wages of sin is death. Jesus Christ came to save men from the oppression and punishment of sin. According to the book of John 3.16, whosoever come to him shall be saved from eternal damnation. Pray this prayer as you come to Jesus today. Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, I surrender my life to you. I forsake all my ways of sin. I come to you. Save me, Lord. Give me grace to live a life of purity and holiness for you. Thank you, Jesus. Now I am free. I'm free in him. In Jesus' name. Amen. For discipleship and inquiries, get in touch with this number plus 234-0106-559283. Or you join us on social media at GKNI on air. Or you have some difficult questions about your work with God and you want it answered by spiritually minded people. Go to bequesta.com. Thank you.